I'm Vicky Cullerton. I'm a third year occupational therapy student uh, studying at UEA in Norwich. An occupational therapist is someone who works with people to enable them to live as independent life as possible and the way they want to live it. Occupational therapists um, can work with people with mental health problems, physical problems or with social problems. Sorts of mental health problems can be depression, schizophrenia, um, panic disorders, anxiety. The physical problems can be um, injuries sustained through, um, in accidents or um, conditions such as arthritis. I've never really heard of occupational therapy before but my sister studied speech and language therapy and um, she made a joke one day about um, becoming a therapy family and mentioned occupational therapy to me and then I sort of looked into it and realised that it was what I wanted to do. I did A-levels in biology, English literature and psychology and I think they, they did help quite a lot doing biology especially. I'm studying a BSc in occupational therapy and at the end you get a um, degree accredited by the College of Occupational Therapists. Um, over the course you have to do a thousand hours of placements and that's spread over mainly the second and third years but there is one placement in the first year as well. My placements have been mainly out of Norwich. Um, I've been at Addenbrooke's in Cambridge and um, King's Loon Hospital. Placements are quite different to uni because you, you get quite a lot of theory in uni whereas obviously it's, it's all practice when you're on placements. So it is very different but it, you can definitely make the links between the theory and the practice. Occupational therapists can work in like big multidisciplinary teams and um, they often work alongside physiotherapists, especially in sort of physical settings in hospitals and things and rehabilitation settings. They work with physiotherapists a lot. Um, and in mental health settings they seem to work quite a lot with social workers and um, nurses as well. And you get a chance to experience different settings and areas within a given environment so you could do rotation in a physical setting and you would go between sort of rheumatology, orthopaedics and you'd spend a few months in each and get a good taster of what it's like to work in those teams and build up the skills. All the lecturers are sort of doing research out of all their own special areas and they're all doing research outside of teaching and everything and it's always nice when you open up journals and things and you find something one by one of your lecturers, it's always, you're always quite proud. The support's really good. You get um, a given a personal advisor at the beginning of when you join or uh, when you start, and you get them the whole way through the course. So you can build up a really good relationship with them, and if you need if you need more support, they're always there. The facilities are really good. We've got a multi-sensory room that's that's really good, and we've sort of run groups in there sometimes and have sessions in there. And we've also got an anatomy room where we're there if we have dissection. That was one of the reasons I chose the course. I think to start with the skills you need. At first you need to just care about other people and working with people um, to help them live as independently as possible. Um, I think you also need to be quite practical in your thinking and could be quite creative in problem solving. You have to be able to work independently a lot but you also have to be able to work as part of a team so sort of working on your own initiative but sort of for the good of the team and, and being a good communicator within the team. UEA is a really nice university, it's, it's all on one campus which is nice, I know a lot of other universities aren't like that so it is nice that everything's together and Norwich is a really lovely place. The course is quite, quite, lo like, quite long hours and you're often in at nine so it is quite hard going out you know, in the evenings and things but obviously you make time for it.